Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I've been working with AI more lately. That's uh, my intent for the channel. Yeah, I, I did how to use Grok AI to boost my YouTube creative process. And then I checked out Grok's chill vibes. Whether you're rude or polite, it doesn't matter. Previously, I had explored this AI assistant. Yeah, Arduino AI assistant for the Arduino cloud editor. And I wanted to come back and give it a try. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. So here I am in Arduino Cloud. I've started a new sketch. And you see over there that little star that says new. You click on that and it says welcome to the AI Assistant in Arduino Cloud Editor. Even the free subscription of AI of Arduino Cloud gets 50 free messages per month. So you get 50 prompts. And so we're gonna try it now. Okay, there's an introduction to the Arduino. Oh, wait, wait, we're going to connect our device first. Yeah, yeah, see, I just installed the Arduino Cloud Agent. You need that to interact between the web interface and the serial port. And it's actually, I, I don't recall it being able to actually identify the connected device, but I just plugged in my Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi. And detected it, it detected the correct serial port. Yeah, you see, here you see I've got it plugged in. It's got that cool 8x12 LED matrix right there on the board. That's why I picked this for this example here. We'll just close that. And yeah, we see it's connected. Here's the introduction to Arduino AI Assistant. Yeah, be responsible with AI. Don't uh, do anything destructive or <laughs> impolite anyway. It says you can ask them anything. I'm going to accept the terms. they got some example prompts down there. Of course, I want to do something with that LED matrix. That's why I picked the Uno R4 Wi-Fi. We could, right away, we can have a visual, uh, a visual confirmation that our code is working. So I'll create a sketch that blinks a random number of random LEDs on the Uno R4 Wi-Fi with a half second delay between events. And we send that. Now, I was kind of assuming that it would understand that the Uno R4 Wi-Fi has an LED matrix. Let's see what happens. I don't think we quite get what we were expecting here. Yeah, they're defining 12 digital pins. Yeah, so they're going <laughs> to need 12 resistors, 12 LEDs, and 12 pins. And I don't think that was what I wanted. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of looking it over going, wait a minute, this isn't what I asked for. And, you know, you can't make assumptions about AI. AI requires a good prompt. So, create a sketch. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And we're going to start over again. I'm just going to paste that same prompt, but I'm going to add the word matrix Uno, R4, Wi-Fi, LED matrix. <laughs> okay, that's specific enough, I hope, with a half second delay. Now, I could spend hours, maybe even multiple sessions across multiple days trying to write this sketch and make it work. But you see here within, really literally, two different prompts, a matter of a, a couple of minutes. All right, it says it's going to do it. I see it includes the Arduino matrix include file there. So I, I'm getting a good feeling about this. All right. It even includes references. And that's pretty cool. Yeah. Actually reference sketches. There may already be another sketch. This, this sketch may have already been written. But uh, let's go ahead and let's copy this code out here. And I'm just going to select all and paste this in my new sketch window. Yeah, this really looks like what we want here. Yeah, you see include Arduino LED matrix is the include file. Matrix rows 8 by columns 12. That sounds a lot like the Uno R4 Wi-Fi. I'm going to go ahead and send it. This is actually going remarkably fast compared to using the IDE on the desktop. 
I'm um, actually I didn't cut anything out of this. I normally would crop the compilation. Oh, and there it goes. There it goes. So it's randomly lighting random LEDs, a random number of them, exactly like I specified. So it lights one, it lights a bunch, and they're all random uh, locations of the LEDs. Uh, and like I say, this could have taken a one or two hour session, maybe even a couple sessions over the course of a couple of days for me banging my head on the desk to get something like this. But it took me two minutes and a good AI prompt. So uh, a lot of your coding problems can be solved. And you can ask the Arduino AI assistant questions about commands, etc. So it, I, I see where this is going to be a real boon to people that are just getting started and want to do something, and this could help you do it right away. Yeah, I'm thinking of the Arduino Uno Giga with the Giga Display Shield. What could I do with that? So it actually breaks out the code here and tells, explains it step by step. Defining the matrix, you got the include file. Here it's dealing with that. Uh, 500 millisecond uh, delay in the code and then dealing with the frame buffer yeah oh it's detected uh, the 500 milliseconds have gone by so we better do something clear the frame for each row and column now it's going to decide which LEDs it wants to light. So it's going to light up to 20 LEDs. And then it's just doing some random calculations here. And then finally it gets to display the current frame. You can change the interval, that 500 milliseconds, and you can also change the number of LEDs to light up in this instance. And of course there's great references there so you could learn more. And like I say, you can ask Arduino AI Assistant uh, questions about particular commands, etc. It can help you debug. Anyway, you're probably going to want to check out my previous AI videos. Grok has some chill vibes. I asked it, hey, do you care if I use the word please? Do you care if I'm rude? And then I said, hey, I'm happy I'm getting my money's worth. And it said it was glad, which seemed like an emotional response to me. And I have been using Grok to boost my YouTube creative process. You might want to find out how. I'd love to have you leave a comment down below how you're using Arduino AI Assistant. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my Arduino videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.